Hi, I'm Oscar Denford here at the Denford Factory and today I'll be showing you how to put up the Denford F1 in Schools racetrack. So first you'll need to unbox the F1 racetrack and this is what it looks like when it comes boxed. When unboxing the F1 racetrack, make sure to keep hold of the protective packaging so you can store it in the future. So this is a quick helpful video to show you how to put up the racetrack. All the detailed instructions will be here inside the manual that is applied with the track. So as you can see here we've got everything for the track unboxed and the first thing we've got to think about is space to put the track. Behind us we can see we've given ourselves enough space of about 2 metres in width and about 24 metres in length to give us enough space to operate the track successfully. Um, be sure to make sure the floor is even and level throughout the whole length of the track. So here I've got all the lengths for the F1 track pre-assembled um, and I'll quickly show you how to put one together. It's really simple. So first of all, this is the right orientation for the track, for the track length. This is the bottom, this is the top. This is here for, these slots here are for the wiring that will be put in later. And all you have to do is take the extra foot, and slot it onto the leg, let you go. So here I've got the first two legs for the track and we're going to put them down in order to make sure we have the track in the right position. Be sure to start the track near to a power supply because obviously you'll need to attach the rear system to it later. So place the legs around two metres apart. After this we do recommend to have some help putting up the track. Uh, two or more people would be the right amount. After putting the first legs down be sure that the legs have a cross section foot um, to make sure that they don't wobble during operation. Um, so we can see these here and you just place these perpendicular to the legs position. And here, obviously, here we have the start piece, obviously identifiable by the start line printed on it and the Denford branding with the two screws at the bottom for the tether guys later on. On the back we can see the two pegs that fit in the cross section of the legs and we will place these in our bottom yeah. and if you line up the legs and the peg we'll all fit together. Here we see the peg slotting into the leg using So next we place the next leg down and we'll place this at a similar distance to the first two legs from the first piece of the trap, like so. So next we're going to attach the next piece. So I've placed the leg down, obviously using this line on the floor to help, um, it is good to get some sort of reference to keep the track in line. Um, so what we do is with the leg placed there, we will place the track down with the join resting on the first piece, then you line them up and pull them together. So this is what we should want, a little, as little gap between the segments as possible and then onto this end to make sure that the leg is securely fastened with the peg in between. So as you can see here, we already have Velcro on our track and this is to accommodate some of our own branding and side curtains. So now we've put up a couple of sections, um, there's some important information about these thumb screws. Uh, there are two kinds, a longer kind and one single shorter one. The shorter one is for connecting the start piece to the second section. Um, this is to avoid any misclamping. So all you have to do is move under the track, find the hole, place it in and screw it, it. So after adding the first one, all we have to do is add a thumb screw to each section. Then repeat this procedure until the whole track is assembled. Now we've finally got the last section in, we will do the final checks, which are making sure there are no gaps between the sections making sure the thumb screws are properly tightened and that the track is aligned. If you've got a level floor, you shouldn't have a problem with that. 
So now it's time to add the nylon cord, which is used as the tether guide to secure the cars to the track during racing. All you have to do is use a simple slip knot at one end, attach it to the screw on the track, pull it tight, and then do the same at the other end. You can take the other end, place it over the screw. Make sure that the pedal line is tight and is sufficiently tight on both sides. Track banners are also available for the F1 racetrack, as you can see here. So this is the track fully assembled. If you have any other questions, please consult the manual for further details. Um, and our next video will be us showing you how to set up the F1 race system.